Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Okami, where we have arrived at Hana Valley, the first dungeon in this game. For those of you who are just joining us, this isn't a standard let's play of the game, it's a challenge run where I'm basically not permitting myself to uh, use praise for any upgrades aside from uh, purchase, aside from increasing my wallet size so I can afford some of the more expensive upgrades later on. So, that said, there won't be much in the way of story. In fact, a lot of story elements will probably uh, be skipped entirely if they happen during uh, dungeons and the like. So, be ready for that. I'm not going to be really covering the story. This is just... And as evidence of that, this is just the second episode, and we basically skipped from the tutorial dungeon uh, to here without covering any of the events in uh, Kamiki Village, and the rest of the progress of this run uh, will be playing out similarly. So if you uh, don't know the story or you're here to follow the game's story, this is the wrong place to be doing that. That being said, this particular dungeon probably isn't going to be very interesting because uh, it's so early on that it's not going to be very challenging despite the fact that I haven't really upgraded at all yet. So while I am uh, perhaps a little bit weaker than I normally would be here, all that's really different is that I'm perhaps missing maybe one health. Maybe an ink pot, nothing significant. But I wanted to try to show all the dungeons in the game as I go. Uh, everything else is going to be skipped though. I'm not going to be covering any uh, of the field or anything like that. I'm also probably not going to be doing any particularly challenging side quests, such as some of the optional boss rushes and the like near the end. I'm just going to be going through it for the most part. You know, for how poorly this game did when it first came out, though, I was one of those people who was super hyped for the game. It looked really interesting from some of the screenshots I saw and some of the stuff I had read in magazines. I was also really uh, into the idea of uh, playing a wolf character because, generally speaking, I'm not a fan of playing as humans in games. Just the idea of being stuck as a human in uh, a setting of unlimited possibilities just bores me. So the idea of playing a Zelda-like game as a wolf, especially one with such unique and interesting powers, had me intrigued. So I was hyped when this game was coming out. I had pre-ordered it on the PS2, and I even remember uh, showing up super early on the day of release being at GameStop and just waiting for several hours for the shipment to finally arrive and for the game to be available to pick up. You're not fooling anyone, Susano. Ah, dang it. One problem I'll be uh, struggling with, perhaps, is since this is on the Switch and my uh, controllers are a little bit worn out, there might be uh, some slight issues with the Joy-Con drift here and there. Hopefully that won't become too much of a problem as we get further in this run and things actually start becoming difficult, but we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Onward, deeper into this dungeon we go, following Susano to his special training place because that's the only reason he's here obviously hello if 
Fortunately, little sequences like this don't drain your ink at all. Otherwise, being limited to only three ink pots throughout the game would definitely be a problem. So it's good that they had the foresight to know not to basically make progress during those kinds of sequences potentially impossible based on the available ink you have. All right, we've got the magic ball. Now we just gotta get it back to the water. Because one thing this game doesn't excel at, quite the same as Zelda, is the puzzles. Especially because it likes to just tell you the solutions to puzzles. So even if there is something somewhat complicated, Isun will just be like, Oh, hey, maybe if you do this, something will happen before even giving you the opportunity to try and solve the puzzle yourself. Get back here. Not done with you yet. Into the water with you. Good thing it didn't do that when I stood in it. And now we bring out the sun and progress. Give me your powers, monkey man. And this is one thing, though, that I give it over Zelda, is it's a much more interesting concept to be gaining new powers as you go, strengthening yourself as a character, rather than just getting more items to do stuff. I just feel like that's a much more uh, rewarding and uh, fulfilling uh, form of uh, character progression than just getting stuff. You're growing as a character, not just getting, not just acquiring uh, new equipment. And then the tree praises us for our accomplishments. Like I just said, Isun just spelling everything out for you so you never have to figure out a single thing on your own throughout pretty much this entire game. Hello, ambush. Where were you guys earlier? I just came through here a minute ago and nothing was going on. So... I don't know what you guys were doing earlier, but... Whatever. Money. Yeah, this is all there really is to the combat at this point. I only have one weapon, don't have very many uh, abilities or techniques. It starts off pretty straightforward, so there's not a whole lot to show off. Knock your thing back and then lift the curse. And then you give me food. And for perhaps the very first time ever... While playing this game, the Astral Pouch will actually matter. Yes, I get it. I know how to play the game, and even if I hadn't played it before, I could figure it out. Let me figure out puzzles on my own, Isun. Don't just tell me the answers to everything. I barely even have the ink to pull that off. Give me your peaches and your oranges and your whatever else you want to offer. I need to get my pouch filled up before I get to anything that's actually dangerous. Gonna be seeing a lot of uh, 
Ami is a normal wolf throughout this run, that's for sure. Gonna keep running out of power at a rather frequent rate, I assure you. Only having three ink pots, especially later on when I start getting more expensive abilities that I'm gonna be uh, needing to rely on. That's definitely going to become a little bit of an issue. But hopefully we'll be able to power through it and make do with what we have. Tragedy! Digging tips. I know how to dig. And I also know that this is useless to me. But let's do it! Why not? We a clover. More praise. Praise me plants. Give me might. Can I upgrade my wallet yet? I can. More money for me. Because, yeah, that's the only praise I'm going to be spending in this game is just to upgrade my wallet because the standard wallet size makes it impossible to purchase some of the later upgrades. With that said, we've uh, completed Hana Valley and... Uh, I guess that'll wrap up this episode. It wasn't very interesting. There wasn't a whole lot going on. It was just a real simple dungeon. Not a whole lot to say about it. Things should get a little bit more uh, interesting as we get further, though. The fact that I'm fighting in a weakened state will definitely start to become more apparent and more of an issue as we get to later dungeons. And that's when uh, this will hopefully become more interesting to watch and I'll hopefully have more to say and more uh, challenging things to react to. But until then, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, keep your eye out for the next episode, and thanks for watching!